Hello, I am Alexandre Gabriel. Welcome to Le Manoir de Mademoiselle. 32 years ago, I revived the old cognac house with a heritage of 10 generations of vine growers and cognac makers, all names Eli Ferrand. Before becoming Ferrand Master Blender, I have learned the fine art of winemaking and distilling in the farm I grew up in South Burgundy. And now let me tell you the great story of Ferrand Cognac. All Ferrand Cognacs are 100% Grand Champagne Cognac. The Grand Champagne region of Cognac is a tiny little region that is in the bullseye of the Cognac district. It is a region that's also known as the Premier Cru de Cognac. The grapes growing there develop beautiful aromatics of when they're younger, white flowers, honey, pear, and as they barrel age, they develop into complex with dried fruit, prunes, sometimes exotic fruit notes. Less than 5% of cognac is actually marketed as 100% Grand Champagne. We love these profiles, we love this taste, and we follow the footsteps of all the Ferrand has been faithful to this very region of cognac. Cognac is actually made with wine. And at Maison Ferrand, we have our own vineyard. So to control the quality from grape to bottle. For instance, we can control the grape varieties that we're using. Yes, Cognac uses 99% Uniblanc, but we insist on planting more and more the original French Colombard that actually is native from Cognac. Also, we like to use our own yeast strain from the specific land that we are growing. This is also important for us to cultivate the land in a way to look at a bright future. At Ferrand Cognac, we're very lucky. We benefit from 150 years of archives about cognac making. I find it so inspiring to dig in all these documents and these methods that are great inspiration for myself and for my team to make the cognacs that we're producing now. It is a great inspiration because we feel that cognac is very much alive. It's been over 400 years of people who've been making cognac in this very area and we are simply walking in their footsteps. We find things that have been forgotten. For example, the fact that cognac producers used to recycle the barrels of nearby winemakers to make beautiful expressions. In the old days, people were quite savvy and they were using the local wood from nearby forests. For instance, some great expression of the 19th century of cognac were aged in chestnut barrels, sometimes in acacia barrels all made locally. They cannot benefit from cognac name anymore, but they are very much part of the heritage. We have what we call the experiment cellar, where we're aging all these beautiful expressions, some of which will make it to market, and some won't. This is part of our research. This has been great inspiration for us for making the Renegade Barrel number one, for example, that was aged in a Sautern barrel. We also have used, like in the old days, barrels of Jamaican rum to age our cognac. There's an old master blender who's still alive now, who is telling me that him and his father and his grandfather used to go to Bordeaux and gather and buy these rum barrels to age some of their cognacs. We wanted to try, and we did it with a Jamaican rum barrel, and it is delicious. It will be, that's my little secret, part of the Renegade collection. It will be the Renegade number three. We are making today the cognacs for future generations. We are making cognacs that will be drunk by people that are yet not born. This is our mission, and we enjoy every moment of it. We are here at the Ferrand estate where 10 generations of Ferrand have lived. Since Eli I who was born here in 1630 to Eli X who died in First World War. The most illustrious Ferrand was Eli VIII, a genius of his time, making cognac using a lot of his research and experimental. 
He prided himself in being the supplier of Napoleon III here in France, but also the Sultan of Constantinople, a gentleman who really worked toward excellence. The walls of this house are littered with medals brought back from Australia and Algeria showing the quality of his cognacs. He was very proud of the medal won in 1900 at the Paris World Fair, but also the gold medal won in 1889 when the Eiffel Tower was built. We are very proud to sit here and humbled with all this history, but what a great inspiration to continue to keep Ferrand Cognac alive. This wonderful heritage was entrusted to us by the last direct heir living here at the estate, Mademoiselle. We've actually renamed the old manor in her honor, Le Manoir de Mademoiselle. She has asked me and she has asked the team to honor all our ancestors, and we don't take this lightly. Thank you for watching this first part, and we we'll see you in the second part where we'll share with you how we make cognac. Thank you. Mm -hmm.